In this video, we're going to do numbers 21 through 26 on the Evaluating Expressions worksheet that you can find on the CUDA software website. I'll leave a link below. So let's go ahead and get started. 21 says 12k minus h squared. We're taking this h value of 2 and plugging it in for h in the expression, and then we're going to take this value of 3 and plug it in for k. That's going to give us 12 times k is 3 minus h squared, 2 squared. We're going to do exponents first, so we're going to have 12 times 3 minus 2 squared is 4. After exponents, we're going to do multiplication. So 12 times 3 is going to be 36 minus 4, and that's going to give us 32. So the answer to number 21 is 32. For 22, we're going to take that x value, which is 6, plug it in for x in the expression, and then y is 5, so we're going to plug 5 in for y in the expression. So we're going to have 5 divided by 5 plus 1 plus x is 6 divided by 6. Now in the order of operations, we're going to do division before addition. So we're going to go ahead and do 5 divided by 5, but there's also division over here, so let's do this in the same step. So we have 5 divided by 5, which is 1, plus 1, bringing that 1 on down, plus our 6 divided by 6, which is 1. So the more comfortable you get with order of operations, you will recognize when you can do multiple steps within the same step. If you're still not comfortable, go ahead and do 5 divided by 5 first to get 1 plus 1 plus 6 divided by 6. Then in the next step, do your 6 divided by 6. And then you get 1 plus 1 plus 1. So I just combined two steps to get 1 plus 1 plus 1 a little bit quicker. So again, if you're still not comfortable, you can go ahead and do 1 plus 1 first and then add 1 at the end. But I'm just going to do this all within the same step. We're going to do 1 plus 1, which is 2, and then add another 1 is 3. So the answer to number 22 is 3. 23 is 6 divided by 6 plus z plus x minus y. So we're plugging in values for three different variables now. So x is 2, y is going to be 5, and z is 6. Writing this all out, we're going to have 6 divided by 6, plus z was also 6, plus x is 2, minus y, which is 5. Division first, 6 divided by 6 is 1, so we have 1 plus 6 plus 2 minus 5. Working from left to right, 1 plus 6 is going to give us 7. We still have plus 2 and minus 5. 7 plus 2 gives us 9, minus 5, which is 4. In problem number 24, we're going to take 3 and plug that in for x. We're going to take 4 and plug that in for y. And we're going to take 4 and plug it in for z. So 24 is going to be... 4 minus 4 plus 3 times 4 divided by 6. Multiplication and division come first, so let's go ahead and do 3 times 4. We're going to have 4 minus 4 plus 3 times 4 is 12 divided by 6. Division comes before addition and subtraction, so 12 divided by 6 is 2. So we have 4 minus 4 plus 2. Let's go ahead and work left to right. 4 minus 4 is 0, plus 2 is going to give us a positive 2. Let's go on to 25. x is 7, so we're plugging 7 in for x. y is 2, so we're plugging 2 in for y. And lastly, z is 4. Writing that out, we're going to have 2 
divided by 2 plus x is 7 plus 4 plus z is 4 plus, oops, forgot to circle that one. So y is another 2. Division first, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we get 1 plus 7 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2. 1 plus 7 is 8. 4 plus 4 is also 8. And then plus 2. So 8 plus 8 is 16. Plus 2 gives us a positive 18. Here I went ahead and added the 1 and 7 together and the 4 and 4 together. That's because all I had left was addition. And addition is so it does not matter the order in which we add. So I went ahead and did 1 and 7, 4 and 4, and then lastly I added that to 2. Now finally we're at our last problem for this worksheet. 26. In 26 we're going to say A is 4, B is going to be 8, and C, which occurs twice in the expression, is going to be 5. Writing that out, we're going to have 5 times 8 times 5 divided by 4 minus 7 minus 4. Now remember, if there's an operation on either the numerator or denominator, that's like having parentheses. So let's go ahead and do parentheses first. We'll do the 8 times 5. And we'll also do the 7 minus 4 in one step. Since there are two separate parentheses that are not related. So we're going to do 7 minus 4 and the 8 times 5. So we have 5 times 8 times 5 is 40. All of that is over 4 minus 7 minus 4, which is 3. Next, let's go ahead and do the division. 40 divided by 4. So we're going to have 5 times 40 divided by 4, which is 10 minus 3. Next step is multiplication. 50, and then subtract that 3, and that's going to leave us with 47. So the answer to number 26 is 47. Now again, if you're having trouble combining steps into a single step, please feel free to continue to break it up. I just do this one to conserve space and two to move the video along quicker. But if you wanted to do the eight times five first and then the seven minus four and the next step, go right ahead. So this concludes the evaluating expressions worksheet. And again, I'll leave the link below, but please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up on this video.